find the value of x in this expression so in this particular expression we are going to find the value of x 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x you can pause the video and try to solve this question of your own so let's try to solve this particular question first of all we will see the most common mistake that every student might conduct in this particular question the mistake is that mistake of taking log both the sides before moving forward let us focus on two important formulas our first expression is log m into n is equal to log m plus log n or log m plus n is equal to log m plus log n many of the students used to confuse between these two expressions so let me clarify you that the first expression is completely right in the other case the second expression is completely wrong so we have to consider that log m plus n is not equal to log m plus log n so in our original question if we will take log both the sides we cannot move forward and we cannot solve it further so we have to approach in a different manner to solve this particular question. Coming to our original question, 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x. So in the first step, we will divide both the LHS and RHS with 4 to the power x. So dividing both the side with 4 to the power x. Further, we will divide each expression by 4 to the power x. So we will simply cancel out the first term and we will get that 1 plus 6 by 4 whole to the power x is equal to 9 by 4 whole to the power x. On further simplification, we will simply get that 1 plus 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to 3 by 2 whole square whole to the power x. In the RHS side, we can see that 3 by 2 whole square whole to the power x. This will simply become 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x. So finally, we will get that 1 plus 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x. We have converted our original expression into this form. Now we will start solving this expression to find the value of x. So we have got that 1 plus 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x. In this particular expression, we can find the value of x using the quadratic equation method. Now how we can apply the quadratic equation method in this particular expression? So let us assume that 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to a. So 3 by 2 whole to the power 2x will become simply equal to a square. Now substituting the value of a and a square in the particular original equation, we will get that 1 plus a is equal to a square. And we will get a quadratic equation a square minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. If you have remembered, in the quadratic equation, the solution of x will be equal to x is equal to minus b plus minus root over of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is the formula method of finding the solution of x in a particular quadratic equation. So we will simply use this particular expression to find our solution. On substituting, we will get that a is equal to minus of minus 1 plus minus root over of minus 1 whole square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 whole divided by 2 into 1. We have simply substituted the value of a, b and c in our original formula. On further simplification, we will get that a is equal to 1 plus minus root over of 5 divided by 2. Now if we will see carefully to our assumption, we can simply say that 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to a will always be greater than 0. So we will always consider the positive value and we will get that a is equal to 1 plus root 5 whole divided by 2. So here we got the value of a. Now we have to solve to find the value of x. We have assumed that 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to a and we found that a is equal to 1 plus root 5 whole divided by 2. Substituting the value we will get that 3 by 2 whole to the power x is equal to 1 plus root 5 whole divided by 2. Now we can take log both the sides to find the value of x. Taking log both the sides we will get that x into natural log of 3 by 2 will be equal to natural log of 1 plus root 5 whole divided by 2. On further simplification, we will get that x is equal to natural log of 1 plus root 5 whole divided by 2 whole divided by natural log of 3 by 2. You can very easily find the value of both numerator and denominator and further simplification will give you the value of x which, which is approximately equal to 1.187. Hopefully you have enjoyed this particular question. If you are left out with any of the queries, you can comment down in the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Thank you very much for watching this video.